when you scroll into the social media like Facebook or Twitter, have you ever found or read some unpleasant comments that makes you uncomfortable to read it? Like this comment or this comment? That means you just encountered racism comment, specifically Islamophobia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Maria Munira. So today my group and I will present to you about the serious issue to the Muslim which is Islamophobia. In this globalization era that we are currently living now, it's not weird if this kind of content like Islamophobia are widespread in this world now. And what makes it worse is when the people just read the comment and did not take an initiative to learn and find the truth behind it. So in this presentation, we will explain to you about how the social media gives the platform for the Islamophobia became widespread between us and here we will give a proposed solution on how to tackle this situation. So without further ado, I will pass to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum, my name is Ilaina Binti Sabirin, metric number 2017244. Um, I will explain about the background. Um, first, um, in defining media, media has been one of the essential platforms in life that allows society to gain and share information. And the term media, uh, we could define it as a communication channel that disseminate news, movies, education, messages, and other data. Uh, it all started with printed journalism, which was very famous back in the 1950s and 1960s, and subsequently being augmented by radio waves, then network and followed by cable telephone and television. Um, with the establishment of internet, social media such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube has risen to be the new main sources in obtaining information, especially uh, in real-time news globally. Um, however, the growth and expansion of this platform has created opportunities for people to engage in unpleasant manners and has led to a spate of online crimes such as cyberbullying, harassment and hate speech, especially towards minority communities like the Muslims community. The cases of Islamophobia happening online has been increasing as days go by. As shown from the table, online hate speech towards Islam is the highest compared to other minorities, which is 17.7%. Hence, it is clear that Muslims are being discriminated and actual online Islamophobia is being promoted as means to target the Muslim communities. Next, I will pass the stage to next present, the next presenter. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. I'm Hanan Sofia, metric number 2018862. I'm going to continue with the presentation. So, Islamophobia. Islamophobia has come under increasing study after the rise of Islamophobic hate crimes post 9-11 or also known as 11 September incident and also the Paris attacks of 2015. Islamophobia is defined in Cambridge Dictionary as unreasonable dislike or fear of and prejudice against Muslim and Islam. Hong and Chu 2014 shows that there is a link between Islamophobia and social media. Media can be used uh, for publicity, either positively or negatively. It can influence and intimidate public opinion and undermine the public's confidence in the government. Media has unlimited audience and it spread rapidly in the internet. The media plays a fundamental part in shaping the society's opinion on certain issues. The advance of the internet since the uh, 1990s revolutionized the media world and created an immediacy on the impact of news. The most convincing demonstration of such immediacy would be the impact on the September 11 attacks in the USA in 2001. The aftermath of the media's impact still resonates throughout the world today, especially its impact on those who follow the Islamic faith. Over the centuries, many ethnic or religious groups have become subject to hatred and violence. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Farhatul Ain binti Ismail and my metric number is 2014158. So, moving on. The media has become the distributor of ideology and worldview as most people would easily believe in what has been reported on printed media and online sites. It has been discovered that the audiences tend to assume media is the trusted source for news 
of the events happened whether in local or international setting. However, the media nowadays has lost its sole purpose, which is providing true information and disputing hegemonic narratives regardless of any political interest and social hierarchy. The media owners treat media as a profitable business in which they select news and issues based on their value while considering on the targeted audiences as they intend to affect them. For example, the issue of Islamophobia is considered lucrative as it is concerning about many parties involving Muslim and non-Muslim as well as the economy, political and social aspects. As we know, social media is the platform for many users, including individual, society or government representative and online news advertiser. News consumption has been changing from traditional media like printed newspaper into the use of a social media due to its rapid popularization and development. Hence, it creates more chances for the news and the stories to be fabricated by person or any organization as they can freely spread it on the social networking site. For instance, Muslims are being condemned because the idea of them as terrorists and extremists are being escalated on the social media. Many people, particularly non-Muslim, would believe on what being portrayed online, visually or non-visual, as it is the matter of religion and humanity. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ali Natasha with metric number 2015944. I will continue this presentation with our solutions. Our solution is Muslim must educate themselves with methods of da'wah by Prophet Muhammad SAW and practicing them while using social media. By practicing methods of da'wah of Prophet, Muslim Muslims are spreading da'wah by example. For example, when when there are news and when information about uh, Islam is practicing violence, a good Muslim who practicing the methods of da'wah will encounter the stories and news with full of wisdom and great of manner, instead of cursing full of anger. We are showing the contradict picture of Islam and proving Islam is against any act of terror. Moreover, practicing good akhlaq is a must for every Muslim. According to Abdullah ibn Amru reported, the Prophet will say, Verily, among the best of you are those with the best character. The solution itself is in, in line with the globaliz globalizations of social media. The methods of da'wah by Prophet are relevant and comprehensive in all time and in all aspects. According to Surah 60 verse 89, we have revealed to you the book as an explanation of all things, a guide, a mercy, and a good news for those who fully submit. Our implementation will be creating informative poster about the methods of da'wah by Prophet Muhammad SAW. The contents of the poster will derive from the Surah 16 verse 125 that describe about the methods of da'wah by Prophet Muhammad SAW, which are first da'wah with wisdom, good advice, debating in gracious manner. Maria Munira is elected with the poster task. We will spread the poster on Twitter with the mass scale of user. The Twitter which are 330 million monthly active users and 145 million daily active users on Twitter. It's so easy in spreading on Twitter with the retweets and likes features. Twitters are also has engagement features that will help us to measure the spreadness of the poster. Ali Natasha is elected with the spreading the poster on Twitter. Our objective specification will be to spread to target audience which, which is Muslim and non-Muslims to achieve 50 retweets and 50 likes of the poster in a week to achieve 50, 50 impressions of engagement in a week. 
Other group members will share the link of the tweet on other social media platforms. So from this presentation, now we know that the Islamophobia and the social media are interrelated and the impact of these two combinations towards the society, especially the non-Muslim. In order to handle this situation, our group believes that it depends on the Muslim itself, which is that is why we propose this solution to achieve our objective, which is to educate the Muslims with the ahlak of Rasulullah in order to fight the Islamophobia. In this way, we can prove to the society, especially to the non-Muslim, that Islam is not the violent religion. Last but not least, we need to fight Islamophobia together in order to live in the harmonious society. So I think that's all from us. Thank you for listening. Wallahualam.